that there is an important Reformation principle here, a bit behind this question, I suspect, and that is the priesthood of all believers. And, and that is a very, very profound discovery or rediscovery at the time of the Reformation, that, that religion had been, had been hidden in a, a, a language that people didn't understand by professional people to whom they had no real access to, and discovering that we are all priests before God, that, that, that the individual can approach God by himself, herself, through faith in Jesus Christ, and not through the intermediary of, of a sacerdotal system. So, so that, that is vitally important that, that just the, the issue about the Bible being, being given into the hands of an individual, and that, that that individual could read and at least discover the rudiments of the gospel for themselves through the help of preachers and teachers, for sure. But those are, those are vitally important Reformation principles. The phrase, yes. Yeah. Just one thing that's, I think, misunderstood is, is that as, as elders, as pastors who shepherd God's people, we, we have authority, but our authority is not in and of ourselves. Our authority is not innate. Our authority is ministerial authority. It's declarative authority. It's authority that is based in the Word of God. And so our job, our call, is to serve God's people by serving them with the Word of God. And so it is important that though we have authority and that the Lord has called us as elders to exercise church discipline and to proclaim the gospel of Christ and the whole counsel of God, that our authority is not in and of ourselves. Our authority is in the Word of God as we declare it to the people of God. The authority is in God's Word and in God Himself, and we serve Him through that authority. Chris, I think it's also worth remembering um, that even in what Luther earlier thought of as a right straw epistle, um, James does say that teachers and preachers uh, will be more severely judged for what they do. Um, and none of us should ever look at a preacher or teacher and simply think he is in a position where he is being favored because every word that comes out of our mouths is being assessed in heaven. And so it's a tremendously sobering thing. From, it's a very joyful thing to be a minister of the gospel, but, um, you know, it's a very sobering thing, and uh, God is not specially favoring ministers in that respect. He's giving them great responsibility to put the food into the mouths and hearts of the people, and that's why we need to pray for our ministers. We really need to pray for them in that respect. 